Kia ora, heavy rain already making its way up the western coast of the South End, lingering with us as we head in towards Friday, and more wet, windy, and even some snowy weather in store for Saturday. Plenty happening for the second half of the week. Now we start off with that wet weather, which is already making its way northwards up the western coast of the South Island. Heavy rain warnings stretching from Fjordland up towards the Tasman area, and ahead of that, some stronger winds as well. But this rain is clearing from those southern areas through the end of the day today, but you can see it lingers through into the early hours of Friday across places like Tasman and Buller, and even across and towards the Tarua range. This system never really clears as we go through Friday, lingers through those central parts, and as we head in towards Saturday, these areas of low pressure brings more wet and windy weather across many parts of New Zealand. So well worth keeping an eye on the forecast for that start of the long weekend as well. Like I say, it is also going to be a pretty windy story through the rest of Thursday afternoon through in towards the first part of Friday for the central parts of the South Island, through the Canterbury High Country, and across in towards parts of, say, Marlborough, and also Wellington and Wairapa. A heavy, sorry, a strong wind warning in place for those areas, with gusts of perhaps 120 kilometers an hour in the most exposed areas, and those winds picking up to severe gale force. But it is, I think, going to be the rainfall, the main talking point for many folks on the western coast. The heaviest rainfall being driven in by those northwesterly winds running on towards the western coast. The heaviest rain up about the higher parts of Westland, where we could find as much as two or three hundred millimetres of rain. But with those northwesterly winds, that will be pushed across on towards the eastern side as well. So even in those rivers that run from the uh, eastern side of the country and towards Canterbury, we'll get a fair amount of rainfall from this event. So it is going to be wet on both sides of the hills, but the heaviest rainfall about that main divide through there. Now, while the rain starts to ease off down through Otago and into uh, Fjordland through the end of the day today, for places such as Buller, and up towards the Grey District, also up towards the Tasman area. These warnings really kick into force through the evening time and run through into Friday as well. But there are plenty of severe weather watches and warnings in place across the South Island and a few on the North Island as well, across those southern parts. Now, the strongest winds through the Canterbury High Country for the uh, Marlborough Sounds, Wellington, Wairapa, they're really through the rest of Thursday through towards the first part of Friday. Like I say, in those exposed areas, winds perhaps reaching up to severe gale force, but we are also going to find plenty of wet weather. The areas down in the south, that rain will start to ease off through the evening, but we are going to find it gradually moving up towards northern, taking its time to clear across those far northern and western parts of the Tasman district, but also the Tauro Range, a heavy rain warning in place for you as we go through the next day or so. Now, once we get in beyond Friday, we're going to keep hold of this same system. The low pressure drives down towards south, pushes that rain back on towards the south end, and I think we will find a fair bit of it on the eastern side as well. Another area of low pressure keeps a bit of an onshore feed of air through there. Cold air running up towards the south will bring with it the chance of some snowfall through the higher parts of Canterbury, parts of Otago, and even in towards the south end through the daytime on Saturday. And we'll find this rainfall making its way across the north end as well, with those northwesterly winds pushing that rain in towards the eastern parts of the Bay of Plenty, the Taurua Range, Mount Taranaki again catching a fair amount of rain through Saturday. So it is going to be a very unsettled story as that rain started to slide south, perhaps with some heavier falls back in towards Otago, an already very wet area. Uh, so it is well worth keeping up to date of the forecast, especially for that Saturday. There's plenty of severe weather in store. Things are looking better for that second half of the long weekend. But before we get there, we have got plenty to talk about. So head along to the Metzler's website for all the latest updates.